what's up everyone I'm actually very excited for this video because right here I have the Creality CR8 this here is a 2-in-1 it is both a 3D printer and as well as a laser engraver Creality is one of my top favorite printers when it comes to Chinese printers and I think they really do a good job and so I have high expectations for this so in this video basically I'm just gonna go I'll speed through the build process because it was pretty easy and self-explanatory but basically I'm just gonna go over how well the printer prints and how the laser engraver works and kinda go over the quality that it gives now first off I noticed that it was packed very well and nothing was loose nothing was shaking around and so that was a really good sign now this printer is not a full kit it comes mostly assembled I wanna say 80 to 90 percent pre-assembled and so it really didn't take too long to put together but it comes with spare wood for the laser engraver and that's the laser and it sh looks like it's just a magnet that attaches to the actual extruder housing one thing I like about Creality they send you everything you need to get started so you got filaments this is just a handle the laser glasses so you will have everything you need to include any tools that you need to get into the actual housing or anything like that so they do a pretty good job about that and that's one perk about getting a Creality one thing before I get to the build I just want to point out this bed is really loose and I had the same issue with the CR10 and basically it took me a little bit to figure out and the Facebook group is the one that actually helped me out with that and since I already knew the problem this was actually a really easy fix for this printer there's uh, these two eccentric nuts right here and basically you're going to use the wrench that comes with your printer and you're just going to tighten them until the bed is no longer loose and you want to keep them you want to tighten both sides little by little at a time until the bed just doesn't wobble but isn't but is still like loose where it can move up and down the y-axis alright so let's go ahead and get started with the build Alright, one thing I want to point out as well is that we have our 220 and 115 uh, voltage change right here. So US is 115, Europe would be 220. Alright, so let's go ahead and power it on. And it's working so far so good. And I, one thing I wanted to say is as I'm going through the settings on the actual LCD and the button control I actually am really impressed on how smooth the controls are and right now I'm just conducting a auto level and from here I'm actually going to level the bed alright so now that we have everything put together the bed is leveled I just want to say a few things before I actually start a print is one thing I'm actually surprised about was the printer took me about it took me 14 minutes and 12 seconds to put together and then it took me 14 minutes and 15 seconds to actually level the bed the bed was actually really off and I don't expect it to take me that long again but now that I have everything leveled I can now start a print oh and first I'm gonna go ahead and put the actual filament holder together that it comes with alright so now that we got the filament holder I'm gonna go ahead and actually use the filament that they gave me and actually see how well it prints with the filament that it comes with 
Alright, so now that I have the filament loaded, I'm going to go ahead and upload a print. All done, and this is what the Benchy looks like. Now this is printed at 150%. And I'm just amazed that this is the first print. This yellow is from the actual testing facility. They had yellow when they tested it. And so it got on my first layer. But I'm just, I am, it is perfect for a first print. I used the same settings I would use for my CR10 when it was stock. And if you guys want that settings, I could share that with you. All right, let's go ahead and move to the actual laser. So here, I just stick the laser on the side, but this is the, the laser engraver that it comes with, and it's magnetic. And so basically, we're just going to set it on the side of the extruder housing. And you want to put it in a position where if you try to wiggle it, it doesn't wiggle. Uh, for example, right here, it's, it's not very stable right here, so you just got to kind of find that right spot where it holds and now it's holding pretty good and that's that so this box here I'm gonna find a place to mount it there's nowhere on the instructions on where to mount it but you just flip the cord in the back and then you you uh, plug into this cord right here that cord is actually plugged into the a fan port on the controller board and I'll get more into that later so always when you have the laser engage don't forget the safety glasses you don't want to burn your eyes to prep the laser we're gonna to go to auto home and then we're gonna to go to uh, prepared right here and we're going to go to move access and then we're going to do one millimeter and go to Z and we're gonna move this up to 90 millimeters and once we're at 90 millimeters we go ahead and press the button and then we just go back to the main screen and then lastly we're going to go ahead and move down to disable steppers and what this will do is allow us to move uh, the laser on the x-axis move it back and forth and move the actual tray as well all right, so next we're going to go ahead and move our laser to the actual bed and then place a piece of wood that we don't really care about onto the bed. And this is just to focus in the laser. Next, we're going to go ahead and go to the main screen and down to control and then to temperature. And we're going to go and to the fan support. Remember, I said that it's plugged directly into the fan. So at this point we're going to put on our glasses and we're going to turn that fan speed all the way to 255 which is actually full power for the actual laser. I don't know why they didn't just label it laser but I guess they got lazy on that part. Um, next we can see that our laser is on and remember safety glasses and we're going to try to make that dot as small as possible and you can see it's burning right now and so to focus that dot or the laser we're just going to go ahead and turn this either way until we figure out where it makes it the smallest so right about here is the smallest we can make that dot and that's just going to give us more accuracy and better burn all right, and now that we have it focused, we can go ahead and shut it off. Just move the fan to zero. And now that we have our laser ready to go, let's go ahead and talk about the software. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the software. So this is what it looks like when you load up the SD card that it comes with. So basically, we're going to go into CR8. And in number four, this is where we get Kira. Now notice everything is in Chinese so this is kind of a con for me because I don't speak Chinese or read it so we got to kind of just click and figure things out and I hope this video actually makes it easier for you if you choose to get this printer or have this printer uh, so basically this 
this is a Cura right here. You can install it. And this one, you can actually switch the language to English. And then for number six, this is for the actual laser engraver. So what we're going to do is click this longer version right here and click this one and it's in a zip drive or it's zipped so I already extracted it and once it's extracted we can open it up and then we click on Creality Laser Setup MSI and this will install it and once it's installed this is what you get and again everything is in Chinese so unlike Kira this one stays in Chinese there's nothing but there are pictures up here and I already know how everything works so this is for a new file this is for to load a picture this is to load text this is for to delete whatever's on here and this is to rotate and this is for the laser engraver to control how dark or light you want it to engrave and this is to save it so basically let's go ahead and go into here and I already have my logo up and load my logo so I can move it around anywhere and I can stretch it up out and I can rotate it and you can just type it in here so 90 degrees hit enter and it rotates it so and then we could go to this one this is to control the light and darkness and we can just kind of control that and so this is where I'm going to keep it and to do text let's see well I'll just type in whatever and hit this and we can click on how big we want it we can bold it and we can just move this around and if we're not happy with the text we can just hit this little circle with the line in it and that gets rid of it so the software is pretty easy to use and I want to sh but it has a flaw that makes it kinda confusing so once you find the perfect level of light and darkness you want in order to save this and this is this is the part where it starts getting really confusing so we click this and it will show us the entire G code on how it's going to actually conduct this print. And looking at it, at first I didn't I didn't notice until I tried to actually engrave with it and it did not work. And then I looked at the code and I saw MO3 and MO5. And that's that's the wrong start and stop for the laser. So this is supposed to engage the laser and this is supposed to you know stop uh, or disengage the laser and MO3 and MO5 are wrong because that's there's no port for that the laser is connected to the a spare fan uh, module on the board and so basically Marlin Marlin's code is M106 to engage a fan and then you have to put an S value on that so it should be M106 S0 for turn off the laser M106 S255 to engage the laser and that should be the code and so I'll make this easy on you you can follow this step-by-step -step process on how to do it how to fix it but it's just kind of annoying that you have to do it this way. So, yeah, before, yeah, so this is to save it. And no, it has nothing. So you don't save it as a type. So you're going to have to type in something. I'm going to just do logo to, and then you have to actually put dot G code. And once you have dot G code, you can save it next part you're going to need notepad plus plus so notepad plus plus is a free program that you can get and I'll leave everything down in the description below where you can get it but you go file open and select we did logo g code 2 so 
here is our issue right here is all these MO3s and the MO5s. So if we hit control F, it pulls up this when we can do replace. And from here, I already have it, but this one's going to be we're going to replace this with M106S255. And we hit replace all. So that replaces all the on. So that's laser engage. The M05, again, we're going to go control F. We have M05. And basically, this is, we need it disengaged. So we're just going to change it to M106S0. And that will disengage the laser. And I know it's it's really confusing but it's it's an easy fix but you shouldn't have to Creality should have provided that and they probably will later on it's just as of right now they don't have the correct software out well they have a software but it it just it doesn't work and they, they have some free softwares out there for CNC and laser engravers and I might have to test and try and find the the, the perfect one for that anyways so now we can hit save so we're just going to save it and now it should work so now we can upload that file that G code I think it was called logo 2 G dot G code we can load that onto the SD card and we would just go and print it as is and so this is what it looks like you can control the speed from the laser engraver by just moving the knob back and forth. And I slowed this one down to about 30. And here are the results. I really like this. It, it actually burned a couple layers in the wood and it, you could feel it. You could feel it that it actually engraved in the wood. And I have another laser one and it just it's garbage compared to this one. This one is a really good one. I'm really impressed by it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this video wrapped up and I'll just share my initial thoughts about this printer. The print quality is is a really high quality. I, I'm really impressed with the print quality of this printer, but it's it's expected when you receive a Creality 3D printer. And the bonus is the laser engraver. However, talking about the laser engraver, the, the software that comes with it is the biggest con on this, this printer because it's just a lot of work that you have to do in order to get it laser engraved. It's not a direct load a file and upload a file, like upload the G code and print or engrave. So that was kind of an issue, but I hope this video helps you in a way where you can actually engrave with it with little to no issues. And once you have the have it engraving it's it's really good a really awesome engraver and it works really well it will not do metals but I'm gonna actually test and see if I can cut maybe construction paper or vinyl or anything like that uh, foam maybe and see what I can cut with it and see what I can engrave on it and I know it won't do metal it's not powerful enough to do metal but all in all it, it's a it's a really great printer. Um, this is probably actually my new favorite printer and I look forward to actually working on it and posting more videos on it. So that concludes my video. If you guys like this and found it helpful please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more reviews, more do-it-yourself projects, uh, please subscribe and like always thanks for your support and thank you for watching.